What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix a rather annoying issue that you could be experiencing, especially after reinstalling Windows. If I open up my photo editing software over here and try to load a specific file, you'll notice something rather annoying. Heading across to said files, this error right over here. You don't have permission to open this file, contact the file owner or an administrator to obtain permission. Well, I am the owner. Why exactly is it showing? I created it on a previous installation of Windows, or at least edited it there, something along those lines. Now I don't have access to it as that user doesn't exist, and that user isn't technically me. So how do we fix it? Well, it's a bit long-winded, but there's a couple of ways of doing it. If it's just a single file or two, you can right-click, click Properties, then head across to the Security tab, and you'll see this. Click Advanced inside of this new window, where it says Owner, click Change, and then this window will pop up. Now you can either enter a username that you're currently using, mine is TCNO, and you can click Check Names to set it to the user account on your current computer. Or if you'd like, type in Everyone and click Check Names. This way, the Everyone key allows anyone to access the file logged into your computer, whether it's your user account or anyone else's. Click OK after choosing either yourself or everyone. Now, once we've changed the owner to everyone, we need to change the users down here. So click Add, select a principal, enter everyone, check names, OK, and we'll give full control over the file, OK, apply, OK, OK. Now we can open up the file in our software of choice. As such, cool, it works there are thousands of other files that could have this issue. And you'll have to do that for most, if not every file. There has to be an easier way. And there is. It's a really simple tool called Take Ownership. There'll be a link in the description down below, completely free, and it's incredibly small. You'll be taken across to the Major Geeks page for it, and you just need to look for the Download Locations animated header. Click the first download link underneath that, then the download will shortly begin. This is a very simple registry tool, and inside of the zip, you'll see two simple files in here. One to add it to the context menu, which is the right-click menu, and the other to remove it from the context menu. I'll just be double-clicking on Add, clicking Run, clicking Yes when prompted for admin, and then finally Yes over here to install it into my registry. To get rid of it, just double-click on the Remove and follow the same steps. Now that we have that, when we right-click a file, you'll notice something different the Take Ownership button right over here. If I click Properties, head across to Security, you see the error. But let's go ahead and click Take Ownership. You'll be prompted for admin access, and upon clicking Yes, a black window will open up and either vanish very quickly, or if it's going through thousands of files, it'll vanish in quite some time. Right-click the file, Properties, heading across to Security, you can see everything set up here as you'd hope, though this time it set us as full control, and of course, you can get into finer control of it. We can access this file inside of our software now. So double clicking, poof, it works. The great thing about this tool is that you can use it for entire folders or entire folder trees. So folders, subfolders, and all the way down to every individual file. So I'll right click the folder, then I'll click take ownership. The black window will flash very quickly. And inside of Affinity Photo, I can then open up any other file in here and it works exactly as I had hoped. We can do this on an even broader scope, such as right back here, and it'll run through a total of 1,782 files spread across 224 folders and subfolders. So right click, take ownership. Now you can see a bit more of what's actually going on behind the scenes. You need to wait for that window to vanish completely before you can try and access the files. Of course, you can use them in the meanwhile, but I would highly recommend you leave it until after that window vanishes, as then you can access every file in it and there won't be any access issues. So I could load up any other file in this entire folder and subfolder tree, and it'll work perfectly fine. Unfortunately, you're not able to use this for entire drives, though that is definitely very excessive. Something you can do is select multiple folders and right-click, take ownership, and the same thing will happen. 
Though this time you'll be prompted to click yes in the admin prompt for as many folders as you have selected as each folder is considered separate. So I wouldn't recommend highlighting thousands of files like this. I'd recommend highlighting the entire folder by going up one in the tree. If you're on the base of your drive like this, you can right click something and then click take ownership from somewhere like here. That way it'll affect every file and every subfolder inside of it. The more files it has to access and change, the longer this process will take. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been taking over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.